through the scores in the women's short program, I have decided to come to term with the fact that the outcome of the podium is now in the hands of the Russian Olympic Committee, ROC. Now that I have come to terms with this, I think realistically, the ROC has three options in terms of what they can do with the podium. The first option is to tell the judges to stay with the plan. In this option, the pre-rotated quads will be called as real quads. None of the under-rotation or shaky landings will be called. And whatever cannot be accomplished in the tech will be taken care of in the program component scores, the PCS. In the end, the good work will be done and the three Russian ladies will finish with Camilla Valieva gold, Anna Shabakova silver, and Alexandra Trusifa as bronze. This will go as planned. In my opinion, this first option has the highest probability. That is because so far the ROC has faced no responsibility for any of the actions they have taken. And the ISU judges have actually doubled down in confirming their willingness to continue with the narrative of the Russian women's supremacy. Given the evidence at hand, I don't see any reason for the ROC to change their plan of action. In the end, the ISU and the IOC in WADA, all of them will make some noise for a little while. They'll talk about doing a proper investigation. They'll drag their feet for a few months. The Russian ladies will get their medals through the mail. They'll retire. The Russian athletes will now have to compete under the title of Olympic Committee of Russia. OCR instead of ROC, and that will be the end of it until next time. Now, the second option is for the ROC to abandon Camilla Valieva and have Anna Shabakova win the gold and Alexandra Chusova the silver. And if the ISU wants to continue with the Eurocentric line of thought, they can always have Luna Hendricks be given the bronze medal. For this option, they can go one or two ways. The first is to have the judges call Camilla's jumps and remove the Itheri bonus in the PC portion that she normally gets. If Valieva edges and under rotations get called, they can lower her score enough to keep her off the podium. If Valieva is off the podium, the medal ceremony can take place. Mother of Russia can still have two of its stars on top and the great European rebalancing of figure skating can happen. The benefit of this would be taking some of the focus off of um, Camilla, putting it back on the Olympic and all of the pomp and circumstances that goes with it. I mean, without a medal, Camilla will be less of an interest, and the ISU and the IOC can quietly brush everything under under the table, and a few months when everyone forget, that will be that. The second way, and probably the most disgusting option they could possibly think of, is to ask Camilla to lose so that she's not on the podium. This way she can quietly fade out of the limelight. Unfortunately, I don't think Camilla is strong enough or has the support system around her to decline this if she were to ask to do this. If they go in that way, which, good God, I hope they don't for this poor child's mental well-being, a Camilla poor performance can easily be blamed on the stress of the situation. And this, in their mind, can also even earn Camilla some sympathy point, which may help with her getting a lighter sentence, as opposed to if she's the Olympic gold medal and people are saying she won through doping mean. If she didn't win, this may help to gain her more sympathetic and help to brush everything under the table quicker. The last option is the one where the ROC decides to go for gold and silver and give the bronze to one of the Asian skaters. In this option, the judge would help the two Russian girls who do the best get on the podium while fairly judging the third Russian girl and allowing one of the top Russian skaters to overtake her.
this option would probably be the most favored by the ISU and the IOC. The online outcry over the scoring regarding skaters Young Yu, Wakaba Higuchi, and Karari Sakamoto is not dying down. And more figure skaters are feeling empowered to speak out about the situation. And now we even have former ISU judges weighing in. The best way to defuse that fire is for the ISU and the IOC to sacrifice the Russian women's sweep and put one of the Asian skaters on the podium. If this option is selected, the question now becomes, which Russian lady do they sacrifice? Politically, Camilla Valieva would be the easiest choice. However, if Camilla shows up in the liver, it would be too obvious if the judges got rid of her. Anna Shabakova is also not a good not, not a good choice. If Anna manages to pull off her pre-rotated quads, it will be difficult to make a case to get rid of her. The one that is most vulnerable in this scenario would be little quad queen Alexandra Sasha Chuseva. Unfortunately, the way her program is set up, it's little more than a jump drill. And knowing Sasha and her strong will, she will definitely try to go for the five quads. If she falls short, the judges can have to give her the recommended ISU PCS, which would make Sasha the sacrificial lamb. Personally, while I hope Sasha can make history and land her five quads, a part of me can't help but now question the process that led to that result, which is truly sad because I am truly a fan of Sasha. Given the situation, these are the three options that I think are available to the ROC, ISU, and IOC. Then again, the ice is slippery, the blades are thin, and anything that could happen in figure skating yeah. likely will happen. And come Thursday, we may face with a completely different scenario that no one could have possibly imagined. So let me know what of the three options you think is best. Do you think there is a fourth option? Or have you already given up on figure skating and do not plan on watching? Let me know in the comments below.